This is the Lilies from one 4x4. Just the lower 7-inch 4x4. These are the ones I've already taken out, haven't divided them all yet. And this is one clump that I divided last night, but I haven't gotten the dirt out of it. There were a couple gladiolas in there. As you can see, the, the lilies, the offshoots for the lilies, this little knob right here means that's a plant going to come out. Sometimes you'll have lots of those, and they'll have roots on them. The gladiolas, a lot of times they'll have <coughs> a corm below this that was a mother corm, then the next bulb, and between them they'll have these. But you can tell that these don't have seeds on them. Or, I'm sorry, they don't have um, stems on them. So, if you look at these, all the lily bulbs, they got stems on the bottom. These are some of these I've already divided. You buy them, they're about this big. Maybe this big, the biggest. You can see the, the knot coming out of the top. That's going to be the lily plant. Sometimes they come off the sides. Some of these I've just smashed in half because I can tell that it was way, I mean, just way too big. Um, this one here is a good example. That's way too big. So, I'll break that in half right here and I'll get two. This is the actual stem that came out of the old plant. I'm going to probably leave this one alone. I'm going to probably just take some of the the uh, um, petals or leaves off the sides. You can take like three or four of them and they'll actually make plants also. Um, some of them are very obvious. It's too bad I've separated most of the obvious ones. These are dirty. I haven't cleaned them yet. I'll put these back in the ground. Here's a very obvious one. There's a knob there and a knob there. You can see them pretty pretty easily. This knob's going to be a plant. That knob's going to be a plant. Let's see if I can get you in a situation where you can see that better. All right, I'm going to pull this back up, wash this off real good so you can see what's going on with it. In the meantime, like I said, this is one clump. I have these baskets that are get them at Target. They're usually for people's offices, but they work great, work great for plants. They're sturdy. You have handles and dirt falls through the bottom, but it'll collect almost anything of size. Now this is one clump. This started out as one lily. <clears throat> Alright, this is you know, one, you know, probably three to five dollar lily. And it literally has, there's probably a bunch more in this dirt. I pulled the whole clump up with a shovel instead of breaking them apart. Sometimes I break them up in place and bring them in. Other times, I, last night it was like 30 degrees when I was out there, so it got pretty cold. What I've noticed is my, um, I'm in Tennessee and I can let these stay in the ground. My, my dirt does not freeze very deep. It freezes the top two inches maybe. I plant these eight inches down and they're in gardens either in front of the house or beside the house. It has a house and a large garage full of stuff to hold heat during the day and then they emit the heat at night. So you don't get a, a good solid freeze down deep, um, especially right in front of your house. As you can see, they take you out this window right here. I've got a gladiola garden right outside this window. And this, I just moved everything in here and transplanted. And um, it's right up against the house. The house generates so much heat day and night that anything you plant right in front of the house is not going to freeze. Let me give you a quick take on the lilies or the, the gladiolas. I planted 60 gladiolas and this is what I have left. These are the tiny babies. There's several hundred in there. These are the next step up. This one got sliced in half. I'm going to see if it works. These are the next step up. It's still pretty small. And this is the next step up. Maybe a plant. Not sure. Next year definitely a plant. And then these <coughs> definitely plants. And I think there's 26 in there. And then these are definitely, definitely plants. There's 25. So I got 25 large, 26 medium to large, whole little bucket full of maybes. These are futures, and these are the you know two years a year. But you plant them, they'll start gonna grow. And these are the original corms that come off the bottoms. A lot of those bigger lily, bigger uh, gladiolas, I pulled these off the bottoms. That was the plant that gave nutrients to the next generation. And you can see its root system is right there. So that's a, and that's, like I said, that's, this is just from outside of my window. I have gladiolas all over the place that I haven't touched this year. So I'm going to have way too many. So that's, I have no space for those, those 50. I had to actually find a new garden for the 60 I planted. So those 55 there, 
No idea to do what to do with. And then all the little ones again, same idea. I'm going to run into the same problem here. These will never go back into the 4x4 they came out of, even if I put them 5 inches apart. So I'm going to have a ton left over, and I have another 4x4 to do beside it. And that's just two of the 26 4x4s, and I guess 11 have lilies in them. And every two to three years, or four to five for some of the bushes, they need to come out. They, they will get too big, they'll be too close together, there will not be enough nutrients in the dirt around them, and they will crowd, and they'll, they'll get diseases, and they'll get smaller and smaller, you'll get less plant. So, that's a quick once over. I'm going to clean these up. See you on the flip side. Now these are those dirty lilies. So that's a pretty simple task. It's a, is get them at the, um, one of these at Target or something like that. It's just handles. Have a big bucket of water. And you just dip them in, shake them around. You got clean lilies. So we're going to divide this now. Got you in my basement. We're in Greenville, Tennessee. Just so you know. This is kind of wet, but it's all right. All right, so now they're nice and clean. You can kind of see a lot more what's going on. This is a massive friggin' lily. I don't mean to cuss. It looks like it's got a knot there, a knot there. It might even have. Up oh, there's a knot there. There's one, two, three lilies right there. That's pretty distinct. You see that knot? That's a lily. That's one and that's one. So this bulb is three pieces. This one you can see is a single. Put them in there. And these guys, as little as they are, they're going to be plants. That knot right there tells me that's going to be a lily. It may not be big, but it'll be a lily. You see the plant coming up? It's pretty obvious on that one. That one's probably a double. I may leave it alone. I'm going to leave this one alone. <clears throat> He's got to come apart. There's one, two obvious there. One there, one there. These are good. See, I even take these little tiny ones that have a knot on them and plant them in the garden. The other littlest ones um, I will plant in um, planters, small planters, and in containers, and they'll grow. It takes them a year or so, and then I can plant them anywhere I want. Once I once you put these little baby ones in a planter, they're okay with dirt. And I have a bazillion of these very small, kind of crappy planters you get at the store. You can kind of go to Lowe's or um, any of the stores like that, Home Depot. And a lot of times people recycle them if you go get them, and they certainly don't mind. You just take all these old crap planters and use them for your intermediate needs, you know, before you, you garden with them. You can do a lot of the stuff can be done inside. These will sit outside in the cold. So I just put this in some dirt inside, water it once a month. You don't have to water a bunch. Or you can put them in the refrigerator. You can take all these guys here, put them in a bucket or open, mist it, put them in the fridge. You're golden. All right, so I'm going to divide this now. This should not be that brutally difficult. <clears throat> Harder to get the camera where I want it. Alright, so one. Uh, I always feel like I'm gonna hurt something. Uh, there's one. There's the other. These scales will also grow. This one's a little bit easier. So says me. You're not going to hurt them. dirt in the middle of the winter. <laughs> all right, so he's broken. Boom. We're going to leave him alone. And all these petals, we're going to put over here. Probably get seasick and flash around like this. 
figure out a better way to do that. So anyway, here we go. I'm going to go out and plant this 4x4 now. Put them right back in where I just took them out of. I'm going to put them pretty close together so they support each other. It's really good dirt. There's no weeds, no rocks, no nothing. And uh, we'll see. Peace out again. These are offsets that I've planted. These are a big peach bush lily I really like. I got a black and white one and another yellow. And then some of these are just straight um, LA lilies or tall orientals or Asiatics. But as you can see, they overwinter. I'm overwintering these alive, so I don't let these, I'm not letting these go dormant. These are actually seeds, or little teeny, very, very small seeds that I planted. Um, they're bulbets or bulbuls or whatever. But they're just our offshoot seeds. These are not the stems, um, or these are not the seeds from underground. These are the ones that are from the base of the, the plant, or some of them have them right um, around the, uh, the top of the plant. Uh, some of them come off of the actual um, leaf nodes, where the, the, leaf's, the leaf meets the stem. So I pop them in the ground. I pop them in the dirt, and they grow. So next year I'll have these bush lilies. Now these are completely separate, from the bulb lilies, these will have a bulb at the bottom of the bush, but it'll actually be, instead of a single stem that comes up, it'll be a large bush. And, um, and it's obviously a difference between the Asiatic, the Orientals, and the LAs. Um, some of the, uh, uh, shit, what are they called? Heir heirloom, I guess, are different also. I also have cannas and callas, which are lilies, but not quite the same. They're not bulbs, they're more rhizomatic. Peace out. So I clear the lily bed down to the dirt and I place the lily bulbs in about five inches apart with roots down and then I bury them. These are raised four by fours. These are a lot bigger and in there these are all glads. There's about 60 in there. Gladioles will go in those gray. They go deep in there and then here is blueberries and some gladiolus, some lilies and then there's all cannas. Then throughout there's there's a lily. It looks like it's at least two heads. One here, one here. That was stuck to the dahlia. And that is a big lily. That is two-handed lily. And it's a good sized dahlia too. Thank you very much for watching.